السلام علیکم ان دس لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس کو ویرینٹ فارم آف میکسویل اکویئنس ان پریویس لیکچر وی اسٹڈیڈ الیکٹرو میگنیٹک فیلڈ ٹینسر وچ از این اینٹی سیمیٹرک ٹینسر آف رینک ٹو اینڈ دیٹ اینٹی سیمیٹرک ٹینسر انکلیوڈس آل الیکٹرک اینڈ میگنیٹک فیلڈ کمپوننٹس so starting from the four maxwell equations the four maxwell equations are del dot e equals to rho over epsilon naught which is gauss's law in electrostatics the second maxwell equation is del dot b equal to 0 The third Maxwell equation is del cross E equals to minus curly B over curly T. And the fourth Maxwell equation is del cross B equals to mu naught J plus 1 over C square curly E over curly T. So now we will convert these Maxwell equations into covariant form, into four vector form. First and four Maxwell equation can be written in covariant form by B mu, F mu nu equals to mu naught G nu. while uh, second and third equation can be written as d, d mu f mu lambda plus d mu f lambda mu plus d lambda f mu nu equals to 0 or it can be written is d mu g mu nu equals to 0 in terms of dual electromagnetic field tensor so this is a collective covariant form of equation 1 and equation 4 and this is the covariant form of collective covariant form of equation 2 and 3 these covariant uh, equations are written in terms of electromagnetic field tensor f mu nu so we need to know the elements of electromagnetic field tensor in order to convert these equations into electromagnetic field equation so recalling electromagnetic field tensor f mu nu since we will use the components of this electromagnetic field tensor to write these equations into covariant form so we must know the value of electromagnetic field tensor in matrix form which is the diagonal elements are zero as we studied in previous lecture you can see its details and the link is given in description box these are e1 by c e2 by c e3 by c diagonal element 0 this is minus b3 b2 b3 0 minus b1 it is minus b2 b1 and 0 so we will use the elements of this electromagnetic field tensor 
while converting these Maxwell equations into four vector form. So these elements are F00, F01, F02, F03 and for second row F10, F11, F12 and F13 and similarly for all other components. We can write its dual tensor G mu nu in dual electromagnetic field tensor we will replace E by C E by C with B electric field components E1, E2, E3 by C with magnetic field components and magnetic field with B with minus E by C. So after replacing we can write uh, the dual electromagnetic field tensor. So uh, we have to replace minus E1 by C minus E2 by C minus E3 by C. E by C components with B so it will be minus B1 minus B2 and minus B3 0 minus B1 minus B2 and minus B3 and for second row E1 by C E1 by C will be replaced with B 0 minus B3 B3 will be replaced with minus E3 by C. So it uh, will be positive E3 by C and B2 with minus E2 by C. So it will be negative minus E2 by C. This E2 by C, E2 by C with B2 and B3 with minus E3 by C. This is diagonal element and then minus B1, B1 with minus E1 by C. So it will be positive E1 by C and this E3 by C with B3, B2 with minus E2 by C so it will be E2 by C and then B1 minus E1 by C and this is diagonal element so this is dual of this electromagnetic field tensor like the second and third Maxwell equation can be written either in terms of electromagnetic field tensor F mu nu or in terms of its dual form d mu g mu nu equals to zero so we can use both field tensor f mu nu and g mu nu so now we will write these maxwell equations into four vector form covariant form one by one so uh, we are starting from the fourth maxwell equation or uh, since we will collectively write for equation 1 and 4 into this covariant form. So we will first solve equation 1 and equation 4. So taking equation 1 del dot E equals to rho over epsilon naught. Supplating this equation into components. It will be del operator which is this del is in three dimensions d1, d2, d3 and electric field E having components E1, 
e2 e3 so it will be d1 e1 plus we always define in contravariant index d2 e2 plus d3 e3 since for del operator the contravariant index is at lower position while for all other four vectors we conventionally write the contravariant four index with upper index and the covariant index with lower index but this is just for the case of del operator gradient operator that it is labeled with lower index so it it is equals to rho over epsilon naught and now uh, we can see from this equation we have repeating index 1 1 2 2 3 3 and the index 0 0 is missing in this equation so we can add 0 and it will not change the form of this equation just we will convert this 0 into d0 e0 and e0 d0 e0 component will be written in terms of f00 since f00 f11 f22 f33 is equals to 0 the diagonal elements of electromagnetic field tensor are 0 so now uh, we will convert this row in terms of current density since the 0th component of current density j0 is rho c so we will multiply and divide this term with c it will be rho c over epsilon naught c or we can write down the value of this epsilon naught in terms of speed of light since c is 1 over square root of epsilon naught mu naught so from here we can write c square which will be 1 over epsilon naught mu naught and 1 over epsilon naught will be c square mu naught equals to 1 over epsilon naught so we can replace 1 over epsilon naught with c square mu naught in this equation it will be 0 plus d1 e1 plus d2 e2 plus d3 e3 equals to c square mu naught rho then one uh, factor c rho will be replaced with j naught which is the zeroth component of current density so it will be j0 c j0 in this side as it is now dividing e1 e2 and e3 with this c we will have 0 plus d1 e1 by c plus d2 e2 by c plus d3 e3 by c equals to c j naught 
now uh, we will substitute the values of e1 by c e2 by c and e3 by c from electromagnetic field tensor so as we defined electromagnetic field tensor in terms of components so we will take values of these components from the matrix form of electromagnetic field tensor e1 by c is equals to f10 and e2 by c will be f20 e3 by c will be f30 and f00 is 0 so we will convert this 0 in terms of f00 since it is 0 so for symmetry we will write this 0 as d0 f00 since f00 is 0 plus this will be d1 e1 by c is f10 plus d2 f20 plus d3 f30 equals to cj0 so now we can see we have uh, derivative d0 d1 d2 d3 for all values of index mu like if mu equals to 0 1 2 3 these are four components of four dimensional gradient operator and this index is varying 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 and we can see the second index is fixed 0 is fixed while the first index is varying from 0 1 2 and 3 it is continuously varying from 0 to 3 while the second index is fixed it means we can write these four components as d mu mu is varying from 0 1 2 3 all these four derivatives and f for f the first index is varying while the second index is fixed so it will be f mu and 0 second index is fixed there is no variation so it will be as it is for first index 0 1 2 and 3 so d mu f mu 0 will be equals to mu naught j0 since there is a repeating index mu so uh, it means there is summation with this term by Einstein convention we can omit this summation so simply we write d mu f mu nu equals to while all these terms when we will, when, uh, we will open this term then these terms will be added So this is the covariant form of first Maxwell equation which is del dot E equals to rho over epsilon naught. So now we will take uh, fourth Maxwell equation and the fourth Maxwell equation can also be written in this way and that will be d mu f mu nu f mu i and mu naught j i. So then we will combine the covariant form of first and fourth Maxwell equation into a single form. So now we will take the fourth Maxwell equation. Alright. So we can write it as del cross B minus 1 over C square curly E over curly T equals to mu naught J or we will write the time component first minus 1 over c square curly e over curly t plus del cross b equals to mu naught j now we will split this E and del cross B and J into components. 
the components E will be simply E1, E2 and E3. So this factor will be supplanted minus 1 over C square curly E1 over curly T plus curly E2 over curly T plus curly E3 over curly T plus del cross B equals to mu naught J will be in terms of J1, J2 and J3. So first we will separate this vector equation so 1 del cross B will be along three dimensions del is d1 d2 d3 along x y and z axis b is b1 b2 and b3 so it will be writing its components first component will be d2 b3 minus d3 b2 Second component will be minus or we can separate these components with comma. Second component will be minus D1 B3 minus D1 B3 minus D3 B1 then it will be positive due to this negative sign d3 b1 and the third component will be plus d1 b2 and minus d2 b1 it will be third component and now substituting these components into equation 1 and if we are using a bracket with this second term then there will be negative sign at this position so when we will substitute these components in this equation then this equation can be separated into three equations along three dimensions so it is a difficult task to solve all these components in a single step so we will Split this equation 1 into 3 components and then we will solve all 3 components and we can sum up at the end to find a single equation. So as you can see like uh, this is the x component of this first term. This is the x component of this term and this mu naught j1 will be the x component of this term. So we can split this equation after substituting del cross b in this equation we will split this equation into three components so i am writing these three components now so we can write minus one over c square curly e over curly t along three dimensions plus del cross b along three dimensions i varies for one two three equal to mu naught j i so the three equations will be 
माइनस वन ओवर सी स्क्वेर कर ली ई वन ओवर कर ली टी प्लस दिस कंपोनेंट लाइक डेल क्रॉस बी फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट इट विल बी डी टू बी थ्री डी टू बी थ्री माइनस डी थ्री बी टू डी थ्री बी टू एंड देन इट्स फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट म्यू नॉट जी वन इक्वल्स टू म्यू नॉट जे वन and the second equation will be similarly 1 over c square curly e2 over curly t the second component will be minus d1 b3 plus d3 b1 and equals to mu naught j2 similarly the third equation will be minus 1 over c square curly e3 over curly t plus this term third component of del cross b d1 b2 minus d2 b1 equals to mu naught j3 now we will uh, solve these equations separate and then at the end we will sum up to find a single equation so rewriting equation a minus 1 over c square curly e1 over curly t plus d2 b3 minus d3 b2 equals to mu naught j1 so this first term can be written as minus curly over curly ct to convert this derivative into d0 and one c can be written with this component e1 over c plus d2 b3 minus d3 b2 equals to mu naught j1 and then writing this curly over curly ct derivative with curly over curly not d0 and it will be e1 by c plus d2 b3 and sorry it will be d0 not with denominator it will be curly over curly ct will be d naught e1 by c plus d2 b3 minus d3 b2 equals to mu naught j1 so now we can see we have derivatives d0 d2 and d3 while derivative d1 is missing in this equation so later on we can introduce d1 as well so now we will substitute the values of minus e1 by c b3 minus b2 from electromagnetic field tensor this minus e1 over c is f01 this b3 is equals to f21 and this minus b2 equals to f31 we are taking negative sign with this component since 
we will add these terms and after adding we will apply summation so that's why we are considering this negative sign with these components in order to just introduce positive sign between terms so we can write it as d0 f01 plus d2 f21 plus d3 f31 equals to mu naught j1 so we can see in this equation with f components we have 0 1 2 1 and 3 1 like the second index is fixed while the first index is changing and in derivatives we have 0 d0 d2 d3 b1 is missing so we can introduce d1 component to just get symmetry in this equation d0 f01 plus d1 f11 plus d2 f21 plus d3 f31 equals to mu naught g1 since this f11 is 0 it is diagonal element therefore it will not affect the form of this equation and we have introduced f11 due to symmetry with other elements like we already have 0 1 2 1 and 3 1 it means the first index is varying 0 1 2 3 while the second index is fixed which is 1 so we can write in summation form by introducing greek letter mu d mu f first index is varying so it will be f mu and the second index is 1 f mu 1 equals to mu naught j1 so this is covariant form for this uh, first component of equation similarly we will follow the same steps to find out the covariant form for other two components written in equations b and c so at the end we will get the same equation just with one change like for second component it will be d mu f mu 2 the second index will be fixed and that will be 2 like we will have d0 f0 2 d1 f1 2 plus d2 f 2 2 plus d3 f3 2 the second index will be fixed while the first index will vary in the similar manner and for third component we will get again the same equation the second index will be 3 rather than 2 so for first component the second index is 1 for the second component for, sorry for the second component uh, the second index will be 2 and for the third component given in equation C the third index will be 3 so we can write by symmetry for other two components given in equation b and c will be d mu f mu 2 equals to mu naught j2 and d mu f mu 3 equals to mu naught j3 now we can combine these three components to get a single equation so the single equation if we introduce the index i equals to 1 2 3 then for this equation is for i equals to 1 this equation is for i equals to 2 and this equation for i equals to 3 the index i is varying from 1 to 3 so we can combine these three equations like this d mu is similar f mu the second index 1 2 and 3 so it will be 
f mu i equals to mu naught j i for j1 j2 and j3 like we will add left hand side sides and right hand sides and then we will apply the summation and we will get this covariant form of fourth maxwell equation which is minus uh, sorry which is del cross b equals to equals to mu naught j plus 1 over c square curly e over curly t and for the first Maxwell equation we find out it's the covariant form which was d mu f mu 0 equals to mu naught j naught so now we can combine these two equations like all components are similar just there is one variation like here we have f mu i j i and f mu 0 j 0 so we can combine this 3 index i with this 0 index so this will makes if we introduce mu equals to 0 greek letter 0 1 2 3 then we can combine these two equations by a single equation like d mu f mu mu equals to mu naught j nu and now nu will vary from 0 1 2 and 3 for uh, nu equal to 0 we will have uh, this uh, first maxwell equation and for nu equal to 1 2 and 3 we will have these three components like the fourth maxwell covariant form of four maxwell equation now we will convert the second and third maxwell equation into covariant form so now taking the second maxwell equation which is del dot b equals to zero del dot b equals to zero converting it into components d1 d1 plus d2 d2 plus d3 d3 equals to 0 and now substituting the values of b1 b2 b3 from electromagnetic field tensor so from field tensor we can see this b1 is f32 b2 is f13 and b3 is f21 so after replacing d1 f32 plus d2 f13 plus d3 f21 equals to 0 now uh, we can write we have uh, 3 index in this equation we will introduce uh, the first index with mu the first index is 1 so taking mu equals to 1 and nu equals to 2 and third index with lambda equal to 3 since we have variation of 3 indices 1 3 2 2 1 3 and 3 2 1 so now we have to introduce three Greek letters mu nu lambda. So we can write it as this d1 is d mu 
f थ्री इज लेमडा टू इज न्यू प्लस टू इज न्यू वन इज न्यू थ्री इज लेमडा प्लस थ्री इज लेमडा एफ एफ टू इज न्यू एंड वन इज न्यू इक्वल्स टू जीरो You can also write it as like if we interchange the index of this these elements f lambda nu f mu lambda f nu lambda if we interchange the index then there will be negative sign since electromagnetic field is an anti symmetric tensor therefore if we are going to replace Uh, interchange these indices f mu lambda then there will be negative sign with this term similarly for other two terms d nu and f lambda mu there is negative sign due to interchange of index minus d lambda f mu nu we are interchanging index of f elements so now in order to remove this negative sign we will raise this index as you know we can relate the contravariant and covariant space components with negative sign so if we raise this index then there will be negative sign with this derivative so this negative sign will absorb this negative sign it will be d mu f nu lambda plus d nu f lambda mu plus d lambda f mu nu equals to 0 so this is the covariant form of this second maxwell equation del dot b equals to 0 now we will convert the third maxwell equation into covariant form which will give almost the similar result in this case for second maxwell equation we have variation of index which is mu equals to 1 nu equals to 2 and lambda equal to 3 and the vari variation of index will be different for third maxwell equation but the equation will be similar like this so rewriting uh, the third maxwell equation which is del cross e equals to minus curly b over curly t combining these two terms curly b over curly t plus del cross e equals to zero. Now multiplying this first term with one over c in order to convert this derivative into d zero. So it will be curly b over curly t multiplying and dividing with c plus del cross e equals to zero. So this c will be combined with this t. and it will be curly b over curly x not x not equals to cd the zeroth component of position 4 vector plus this c can be written with this term after dividing the whole equation with c so it will be 1 over c del cross e equals to 0 now this term will be d0 d plus del cross e by c equals to 0 now we will write this equation in terms of components 
so there will be three components of this equation along x axis y and z axis so we will adopt the similar method as we done for the fourth maxwell equation we will calculate this cross product del cross e and we'll resolve this b into b1 b2 b3 and then we will write the three components along three dimensions so splitting this third maxwell equation into components del cross e equals to 0 so components will be b not b1 plus 1 over c del cross e its first component similarly plus 1 over c del cross e its second component and d0 b3 plus 1 over c del cross e its third component now we will solve these equations separately and then at the end we will add these three components to get a single covariant form of third Maxwell equation so taking equation D and finding first del cross E so del cross E will be in terms of components along three dimensions this three dimensional derivative is d1 d2 d3 and electric field having components e2 and e3 so now writing components of del cross e the first component will be d2 e3 minus d3 e2 minus the second component will be d1 e3 minus d3 e1 and similarly the third component will be d1 e2 third component will be d1 e2 minus d2 e1 so these will be the components along three dimensions for second and third component we will substitute these components in these equations to find out their covariant forms so we will solve equation d first so according to this equation del cross e will be its first component will be d2 e3 minus d3 e2 so this equation will be d not b1 plus 1 over c d2 e3 minus d3 e2 equals to 0 now we will uh, substitute uh, these values of these components from electromagnetic field tensor it will be e3 by c minus d3 e2 by c equals to 0 and these components having values from field tensor b1 e3 by c and minus e2 by c b1 equals to f 3 2 e3 by c is f 3 0 and minus e2 by c is f 2 0 so writing in components d0 f 3 2 plus d2 f 3 0 plus d3 f 2 0 equals to 0 so in this equation we can see that uh, the derivative runs over 0 2 and 3 the elements f are f 3 2 3 0 and 2 0 so 
so uh, we have 0 2 and 3 index in this equation so taking the first index 0 mu equals to 0 mu equals to 2 and lambda equal to 3 so with these we can write it as d0 will be d mu f 3 is lambda 2 is mu plus 2 is mu f 3 is lambda 0 is mu plus 3 is lambda f 2 is mu 0 is mu equals to 0 we are writing this equation to further simplify it d mu f lambda nu plus d nu f lambda mu plus d lambda f nu mu equals to 0. Now we will interchange the index of this field components then there will be negative sign and to absorb that negative sign we will raise the index of these derivatives so we can collectively write d mu f mu lambda plus d nu f mu lambda plus d lambda f mu nu equals to 0 and for first component the variation of index is mu 0 nu is 2 and lambda is 3 similarly we will solve the second and third component so writing the second component which is d naught b2 plus 1 over c del cross e second component substituting the second component of del cross e and simplifying this equation as well repeating the same steps as we did for uh, first component so it will be d0 b2 plus 1 over c the second component of del cross E is D3 E1 minus D1 E3 equals to 0. So it will be D0 B2 plus D3 E1 by C minus D1 E3 by C equals to 0. Now we will substitute these components b2 e1 by c and minus e3 by c from electromagnetic field tensor b2 is f13 e1 by c is f10 and minus e3 by c is f 0, 3. So writing these components we will have D0 F13 plus D3 F10 plus D1 F03 equals to 0. So in this equation we have 0, 1 and 3 index we will label mu 0 with mu mu equals to 1 and lambda equals to 3 then d mu 
एफ न्यू लेमडा प्लस डी थ्री विच इज थ्री इज लेमडा एफ वन इज न्यू जीरो इज म्यू प्लस डी न्यू इज वन एफ थ्री इज लेमडा जीरो इज सॉरी जीरो इज म्यू एंड थ्री इज लेमडा तो एफ म्यू लेमडा इक्वल्स टू जीरो रिपीटिंग द सेम स्टेप दैट दैट इज चेंजिंग इंटरचेंजिंग दीज इंडिसिस एंड रेजिंग द इंडेक्स ऑफ दिस डेरिवेटिव ऑपरेटर यू विल हैव डी न्यू एफ लेमडा न्यू प्लस डी लेमडा एफ न्यू न्यू प्लस plus uh, this is new d new uh, with upper index d new f new lambda equal to 0 so this will be the covariant form for second component of third maxwell equation similarly repeating these steps for the third component and for third component we will have this equation d not b 3 plus 1 over c del cross e third component equals to 0 so rewriting the equation for third component which is d not B three plus one over C del cross E third component equals to zero. Now substituting the third component of del cross E D not B three plus one over C its third component is D one E two minus D two. E one equals to zero plus D one E two by C plus D two minus E one by C equals to zero. So substituting uh, these values from electromagnetic field tensor E two by C and minus E one by C. This B three will be F two one, F two zero, and F zero one. Then we will have D zero, F two one, plus D one, F two zero plus D two, F zero one equals to zero. In this case. We have index zero, one, and two. So labeling new equals to zero, new equals to one, and lambda equals to two. Then we will have we will have this d mu f. Lambda new plus d one d new f lambda mu plus g two will be d lambda f new new. Now again interchanging the index of these elements and raising the index of this derivative, we will have d mu. F new lambda plus d new f new lambda plus d lambda f f new mu equals to zero. This will be the covariant form of third component. 
so in this way we can convert the four Maxwell equations into covariant form like we can combine the first and fourth Maxwell equation into the single covariant form mu naught g nu and the second and third Maxwell equation can be combined to get a single covariant form of these two Maxwell equations d mu f f mu lambda plus d nu f lambda mu plus d lambda f mu nu equals to 0 or it can be with all upper index mu lambda plus d mu f lambda mu plus d lambda f mu nu equals to 0.